Come on, come on, Hubert. You really need to eat something. You haven't been doing very well. Come on, old man. Oh, he can be so stubborn sometimes and I really don't want him to be sick. It looks like he's busy taking a dust bath. So maybe if we just wait for just a moment here. All right. Yeah, doesn't it look like a really yummy orange? Come on, Hubert. Come on, come here. Oh boy. All right, well, are you Hubert? Oh my goodness, guys. Here we come, here we come. Finally, we might be able to take care of our wonderful elephants. I have the food, we're giving the orange. We've got this. Yeah, there's no need to despair, no matter how spooky the notifications that they are gravely ill uh, have been. I think that we're gonna be able to take good care of them. But all right, hello everyone and welcome back to Zoo Tycoon for the Xbox, now available on the PC as well. I always just want to clarify that because there is the original Pixel Zoo Tycoon, which I am a wonderfully deep fan of. And of course, Zoo Tycoon 2, which I promise you I know quite a bit about. There you go, Hubert. Isn't that better? Let me go ahead and see. Okay, and we can feed Roland if he needs it. Look at how cute he is. He does. Why are you guys not eating your food? Because we installed a, we definitely, definitely installed a feeding station. Did they eat all of it? Is it empty? Is that our problem? We're going to have to find out, guys. All right, can I get some of that food? There we go. A little bit of grass. Roland, oh, he's so cute. We are now feeding a tiny baby. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. You guys. Oh, that is so precious. We are definitely going to win this time. We are not going to lose our elephants and we are gonna make sure that they are 100% happy and okay. So I need a better name. I wanna have some special names now that you guys have gotten to see them up close and personal to call these little guys because they are so precious. Let's make sure we're feeding everybody. So, all right, see Bertolt here actually has had some food. Marlone here has had some food. So it's not like they haven't been eating. I just think some of them haven't really been like going to the stations. So let's try to wash an animal who needs it. Marlon doesn't really need it. Bertolt doesn't really need it. We definitely, I think we just have a very stubborn elephant in Hubert over here who is once again giving himself a little dust bath. But come on, come on Hubert. Come on, old man. I think that you can be a little bit of a handful, but we're gonna take care of you. So theoretically, I think that our washing station should be handling this, but I think we have a much, much, much too small. Good job, Hubert the Indian elephant in the tropical medium has been cared for. They're they should recover shortly from their illness. Thank goodness. All right, there you go, buddy. Yeah, what do you think about that? Are you all clean? I think you're all clean. Oh, yep, yep, yep. All right, and he's all clean. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, well, maybe he just wanted some TLC, right guys? That might have been what it was all about. So let's see how the tropical medium exhibit is doing now. They really are unhappy with their habitat. And I think that's because it's way too small. <gasps> We've got to put our lions in. Oh my goodness. We are running out of time for lions. Let us hurry and get this thing in here. We need to build some stations. Let's go, let's go. We've got to get a meat feeding station because we are about to add in our very first carnivore, which I know is going to make many of you guys oh so very happy. We've got a lot of fans of those carnivorous animals in our groups. Uh, let's see. So I need to build a station, but I don't need a feeding station. I, I want, oh, there we go. I just have to keep scrolling. So if I want animal care, I don't think it's a cleaning station either. I feel like, whoops, okay. Well, I put one down by accident. Uh, we'll see if the actual lion uses it, but I was going more for like the interaction stations. And we can try a sensory enrichment. Hmm, which is popular with lions, actually. Um, 
I was going to say there better be some plexiglass between these two things so that we don't have people uh, getting too close to my lion, just saying. I'm not exactly sure what that is going to do for our lion, but that's really exciting to have. And then finally, let's build an enrichment area. Let's see what the best for lions is. So the scratching post, of course. I bet the scratching post is great. Lions apparently also like this kind of tabletop stuff. Not so much the wading pool, but elephants love the wading pool. Aha! We will replace the other thing shortly. I do need to hurry up though, because let's just go with the cozy carving scratching post. The other ones aren't even researched yet. We're going to... Oh, and you can actually repair this because I guess the lion would actually get kind of into it and like, hey, I'm going to scratch this up. We've got to hurry. Okay, I've got it all set up. Lion, 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 lion. Ls, the Ls. I'm going to lose this challenge. Lion. Okay, good. Asiatic lion. Let's go. Oh, well, you know what? That's the one that we're going to have. Ginger Princess Baxter. I love that name. We're adopting him. Oh, we have completed the scenario. I am so relieved. Thank goodness. We have adopted the new lion. We have unlocked the gold animal totem statue and we can now select our scenarios. So does that mean I got kicked out of my... I got kicked out of my... What? I was kicked out of my zoo. I No, no, no. Go back. Go back. Go back. I was just learning how to actually take care of that zoo. Start this scenario? No. Maybe I don't want a scenario anymore. Let's back up a little bit. I feel that I have now learned my training mode. Uh, campaign mode is some scenarios. No, challenge mode. No, no, no. So I think training mode i like so that, those are scenarios so i think campaign mode campaign mode is where real zookeepers prove themselves play through 30 scenario based zoos in six categories to become the ultimate zoo tycoon with up to three friends online uh completing each scenario will reward you with a unique item oh well there's also challenge mode okay so we could do challenge mode by ourselves. Starting with limited funds, your goal is to build a zoo and complete the zoo collection for each location while overcoming the various challenges of management. Your progress is a challenge in a challenge is saved automatically. Okay. So we want to beware of crisis, but that's really cool because apparently each time we complete a scenario will actually cause us to unlock something like that statue. I like unlocking things. I like collecting things. Bring me back to training mode. All right, so there's zoo 10. Uh, you know what, that was, what was that? Like tutorial, tutorial one. And I, I mean, I guess I did struggle with it just a little bit. Um, tutorial, wait, does it say the one I completed? Uh, North American zoo construction and pings. Adding exhibit items to meet the needs of your animals. Fame and maintenance. Um, huh. You know what? Let's go to South Asia. We won't do too many of these kind of training campaigns, but I guess I should probably do at least two, especially if I get to unlock something cool afterward. And now we know how to do it and we can just go zip quick. Plus, it means that we get to see a new zoo with a new backdrop. Oh, that's so cool. And Chips and I uh, travel to Asia on occasion too. We're so rich. What is happening? In this tutorial, you will learn about zoo fame and unlocking new items for your zoo. All right, tell me all about it. Everything you add to your zoo adds to your zoo fame value. Like my fancy bathrooms in my last zoo. To bring up the build menu, okay. Uh, all right, all right, well. Head to your zoo and add an attraction. What about somewhere to eat? Food and drink, we already have one. Entertainment, I'm kind of not feeling the mascots. What about decorations? <gasps> Look at these! Do I have my special statue from the last place? <gasps> Look at this peacock statue! Yes, I wanna research that. I want that peacock statue, that looks amazing. And I think this is the animal totem statue that I just unlocked, but like, can I get it gold? Wow, I wonder if you can upgrade it and make it gold. Okay, if I'm gonna put down a statue, I do kind of want the peacock statue though. Uh, so I guess you unlock some of these things. Will it tell you like when you unlock them? Some of them are fame based, but I wonder if there's like a place where it'll tell you what you unlock because I am totally about that life. All right, let's get a peacock statue. 
I want to put it in those weird patches. They're just kind of empty. But maybe we'll put it by the entrance to our zoo. So people can see how cool this peacock is. I, it really is a bit of a pity you can't customize things. Oh, well, I was going to say a bit more so I could add trees. But guess what it did for me? Added some trees. Totally content with that. I can upgrade it again. Can I make it gold? Wow! Hey! It's got like shiny gemstones in it and everything. That's pretty cool. Having a wide variety of animals and attractions in your zoo. I love seeing the kids run around. That makes me sincerely happy, actually. Oh, and look at that bush. Dang. Uh, will have you reach higher fame levels. Place enough attractions and animals in your zoo to reach the next fame level. On it. So let's go ahead and build our zoo. Let's build a new exhibit because it looks like we have one exhibit. Let's do a tropical exhibit. Tropical small exhibit. Put it over by our peacock because why not? I'm gonna turn it. Let's see, so there's the cave part right there. I love how everybody claps. They're like, yay! Uh, I wanna connect it more, but I guess I can't. That's okay. Let's edit the exhibit. Let's add some animals. Let's adopt a new animal. And I have a tropical exhibit. So who to add in? We could put chimps in, elephants. It's a small one though. So I wanna be mindful, tigers. <laughs> I want to be mindful that it's a small exhibit. I guess chimps for now. Central chimpanzee. Um, Worsen. Oh, Kim. She seems nice. I have tons of money. Let's do it. Oh, we unlocked the breeding center. What? What? Look at all these animals we just unlocked. Is it? Whoa, look at the elephant trunk snake. <gasps> I want to I wanna put snakes in here. That would be so cool. And she's probably going to be lonely. So let's get Valentine as well. Can I, can I adopt Valentine too? Okay, I need to get into tycoon mode. I wanna edit this exhibit right here, this one. I wanna add in some animal care items so that she has got something to eat. Let's do a fruit feeding station. We'll go ahead and I can't upgrade it, why not? Huh, maybe because I need higher zoo fame probably. And then let's go ahead and come over here. And let's give her something, maybe, I don't think she needs like a cleaning station. But let's try something with enrichment. And let's build an enrichment. And chimpanzee love climbing fences. Oh, this is cool. They have, I think, for some of the animals. No, those are just things that we unlocked that are new. Will the chimps like the wading pool? Okay, chimps don't really touch the wading pool, but we can do the climbing fence. And let's do the jungle gym climbing fence. There we go. Can't upgrade that one. And then over here, let's build an enrichment. And will she like the, she does like the activity center. So let's give her, we'll research. And I think it will go really fast. We're gonna research an activity center because I really feel strongly about chimps uh, having access to all of the things they need for mental stimulation for sure. So I wanna make sure that happens, okay, okay. And I guess there was a thing there where we could put in an interaction. Um, but I guess maybe I should like edit exhibit, exhibit items. Let's do, not this one. N come on, come on. Next item, please. Man, it's really hard to convince it to select the right thing sometimes. It's like, okay, you can pick the right, the different thing. Let's edit this one, edit this exhibit item. I want to edit the enrichment. Okay, there we go. I want to sell it. I can't, what? I think maybe it's because we're in a training mode. All right, all right. Well, I have a chimpanzee now. You can upgrade your attractions to increase the value, but upgrading will also make them more expensive to keep. Open the edit attraction menu for any attraction and select upgrade. Okay, so now I need to edit an attraction and that's probably why the game is like, no more things for you. <gasps> Look at that. Look at her go. Wait, where is she? Oh, it's so hard to move the camera. Oh my goodness. Hi, sweetie. Are you having a good time? Wow. She seemed like she had a good time. That was really cool seeing her jump up onto the climbing thing. I hope that we can make her happy. That's my goal, basically. But all right, so we have added a chimp in. So I think the fun of working with all of these different 
uh, scenarios is going to be trying out different animals. So I'm going to try not to repeat the exact same animal every time. I'm going to try to really make sure that when we are trying to fulfill the scenarios, if I can, I can just go ahead and work with like different. Oh, this is so cool. Look at her. She's having fun. Oh my gosh. What else is she going to do? So she likes, this is so interesting because it's the exact same item, but all of the animals will interact with them so differently. And that's gonna be cool. So all right, we're gonna keep an eye on the animals and we're gonna keep an eye on what they do and how they do things a little bit different. And I'm gonna try not to repeat the same animals in the tutorials. And we'll see if I can really zip through them pretty darn quickly so that we're not lingering and we can fulfill all of these things and move on to our own challenge zoo soon. So if you could please go ahead and give us some support by leaving a like, I will I will imagine that you are here throwing wonderful treats to our chimpanzee. And if you would like to join our team of zoo keepers, I promise you, we do a lot of zookeeping on this channel. Then remember to subscribe and let me know what you think. Which animal should we put down next? So if we try really hard not to repeat the same animal whenever we put in a new exhibit for the entire time that we will be taking care of those animals, then like i'm just really curious like which there's so many choices so far i have so many varieties of giraffe i am i'm just tickled to pieces and it seems like she really loves that activity center so that was a definitely a good choice all right i'll see you guys next time Bye bye